Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Rankin in this video. Got a short one for you, shorty but a goodie. Uh, we're gonna just go through and see how we can convert lowercase characters into uh, uppercase characters and uppercase characters into lowercase characters. Um, so it's gonna be short and sweet, really easy thing to do in C++, but if you don't know how to do it, then you might as well be the most complicated thing in, in, in C++, right? So um, let's get to it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use um, the CC type header file. So your program will need to hashtag include CC type and defined inside of that header file in the standard template library are the two upper and the two lower uh, functions, right? And so these both work the same way. It's just one is for taking a lowercase character and making an uppercase version and to lower takes an uppercase character and makes a lowercase version. So, you know, what you do is, is you pass a character as an argument that you want to get a converted version for, right? So, you know, if I wanted to get a lowercase a, right, and I, I would pass to, to uh, lower the um, uppercase version, right? So, you're like, well, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just type, type lowercase a? Well, it could be the case that the user types in you know, a bunch of characters and you need them all or you need to guarantee that every single one of them is a lowercase version. And so you could just take whatever they input, pass it to two lower and then two lower will return a lowercase version. Okay, now the functions work by using pass by value. So the argument character won't be changed, right? It's going to return a lowercase version of the uppercase character if there is one. Right now, you know, if you were to pass the character one to two lower, what's a lowercase one? Well, that doesn't make any sense. There is no such thing, right? So you would just get the one right back out, right? Or if you passed it to two upper, um, a question mark, you know, what's an uppercase question mark? Well, that, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it's nonsensical, right? So two upper would just return to you the uh, two upper, or the, excuse me, it would just return to you the, uh, the question mark, right? So that's it, that's how they work. Um, there's nothing too complicated about these things. Like I said, it's going to be a really short one. You can read more about each of these functions uh, at this link here, which I'll include in the description for the video in case you want to in case you want to see more. OK, so let's go write a program that uses right. these. So I go ahead and or I went ahead and got um, Visual Studio all set up and ready to go. Uh, so we've got the CC type header file. This is going to give us access to two upper and two lower. Gonna want some input and output for this demo program, so you know it's gonna give us our C in and C out. So let's let's do it, right? So we'll start off with something simple, and we'll just ask the user, you know, enter a character, right? And um, we'll read in their response. Okay, and so I could, um, you know, create a separate character variable and. Um, you know, maybe I'll store inside of that the uppercase version, right? So we'll do um, uppercase C, for example. And, um, you know, to do that, we'll just call the two upper function and then pass um, the character that contains the character that we want to get a uppercase version of, right? And then I could go ahead and show that to you, right? So your uppercase version. Right. So we could say uppercase C, right? Um, and uh, the, the, there's not really much more to it than that. I mean, that's, that's how it works. So let's see what we get. We'll try a couple of different things, okay? So enter a character. So we enter in, uh, I'll type in lowercase a, right? So what do we get? Here's your uppercase version, uppercase a, right? So that lowercase a got stored inside the C variable on line seven. And then we pass that C variable to the two upper function on line 11, which returned um, an uppercase version of it, which got stored inside of uppercase C. And then we just printed that out. Okay, so what happens if you pass a lowercase version, or excuse me, an uppercase version to two upper, right? So we'll, I'll do an uppercase version. Right. So you can see your uppercase version is uppercase A. So, you know, if you pass something to these functions um, that doesn't have a corresponding opposite case, it just returns what you passed to it. Right. So, for example, um, you know, there is no such thing as uppercase one. Right. So 
it's just going to return the one right back to you. Okay, now there's something that you need to be careful of, okay, because what's being returned by 2upper is the ASCII code for the character, right? So you can imagine that the return type for 2upper is kind of like um, an int, right? So, for example, if I was to just go ahead and, you know, call 2upper by itself, okay? So, 2upper and pass you know, character C, okay? And that's gonna go into the 2upper function. And what's gonna happen is, is that the uppercase version of that character, it's ASCII code is what's gonna get returned. So you'll see what I mean here um, in just a sec when we run this. So let's say that I pass, um, or I enter in G. The uppercase version of lowercase g is 71. Wait, what? Um, technically it is, right? Because it's the ASCII code that's getting returned, right? So what you'll need to do, if you're gonna use two upper in this way, is you'd have to cast what's being returned, that ASCII code, that integer that's being returned as a character, right? It worked on line 11 because we assigned that ASCII code to a character um, variable. And so the conversion was done for you implicitly there. But uh, here we'd have to do it explicitly right, by using static cast operator in C++. I mean, you could use the old C style casting too, but you know, whatever, it's a C++ program. So lowercase g, um, and now you see that you got your, your uppercase, okay? Um, another popular usage of this is to, you know, make sure that you can support, um, you know, case insensitive input, right? It might be the case where you have a menuing system and you want to say something like, you know, enter your menu option or enter your choice or whatever, okay? And you're not sure if they're going to, enter in uppercase or lowercase, right? Characters, if you're using characters to drive your menu. So you could uh, do something like this to where um, maybe you put in the switch statement, um, let's, do, let's do the conversion. You do something like this, C equals uh, two lower uh, C, right? And this'll work because what'll happen is, is that, uh, remember the right hand side gets evaluated first. So if they type in um, uppercase G, right, that'll get passed as the argument in that C character variable, but then what'll come out of two lower? The lowercase G, and so that'll overwrite the uppercase G uh, that's stored in C, right? So this is obviously destructive, and so, you know, you gotta make sure that you don't need that original version of the, of the character anymore, right? Uh, so yeah, so I mean, you could combine this with a case statement and make sure that you, um, you know, support or that you are supporting, um, you know, case insensitive input. Okay, so you could do something like this. See how you chose, you know, G or whatever. Okay, and then we could do a similar thing, um, you know, maybe for I or whatever, right? Um, so now it doesn't matter what the user types in whether it's uppercase or lowercase, you're converting whatever they did, right? So um, uppercase G, right? You chose G because, well, we made a lowercase version of it and then that was fed into our switch decision structure. Okay, so that's another thing that's, uh, that's common. Um, last thing I'll show you is how about we um, convert a string, let's write a function, write a conversion function, right? And this will, take a C string and convert it all to lowercase, right? So, um, you know, we won't need to return anything because we're going to pass an array of characters to the thing, um, but you might have something like this, convert it, and you pass to it uh, a, a C string, okay? And, um, you know, I'll just define the function here. I won't use a prototype just to keep it shorter, I guess. Uh, so what we'll do is, is, this still needs to be a pointer though, is we'll just have a loop, for i equals zero, i, uh, or stree of i, doesn't equal the null terminator, no i plus plus, 
And so remember, that since this is a C string, it's going to have a null terminator at the very end. So our loop will terminate as soon as uh, it reaches the null terminator because there won't be anything to convert at that point. Okay, so we'll go through here and we'll just say stree of i, stree of i is equal to um, lowercase, right? We're all going to go to lowercase to, to lower um, stree of i, right? So what that'll do is that'll just step through the array of characters that that, that is storing the C string and um, take each individual character, produce a lowercase version of it, which will be returned, and then overwrite you know, that, uh, that original character that was stored in the array. So this is going to work you know, for any characters in, the, uh, in that character array that's storing the C string because remember to lower, if there's no lowercase version, it's just going to return whatever uh, you pass to it. So let's try it. Okay, and so I'll create a uh, character array here. Uh, da, 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 da. And, um, you know, name or, or, or word. I don't know. We can name it whatever the heck we want. Um, and then we'll say uh, Hank Stalika, right? That's me. Okay, and then I'll see that word just to show you what it looked like originally. And then we'll pass word to convert it. Right? And then uh, we'll see out um, for it again, right? So that way you'll be able to see that the case has changed. Okay, so let's test it. All right, so there's the original version that has a couple uppercase characters in it. And then there's the uh, new converted version, right? So the way I wrote the function, it's destructive. So the original string that was stored in the word array, it's not there anymore. Um, so, you know, you'd have to take that into consideration, you know, when you're, when you're working with this, if that's something that bugs you or not. Um, but, you know, let's say that we got something like H1N1, you know, um, what was that? That was a SARS or whatever. So what should come out then? Well, the H and the N will get converted to lowercase because there's lowercase versions of those. Um, but the ones will remain unchanged because there is no lowercase version, right? Um, and then finally, I'll, I'll put in a couple of special characters here. Um, G, 2, 3, I, right? So what are we going to see? The only thing that's going to change is going to be the H and the N again, right? Because there is no such thing as a lowercase exclamation point. There is no such thing as a lowercase uh, 2. So the things that do have lowercases, they were converted, right? So that's it. I mean, that's all there is to it. Um, include your CC type header file that gives you access to the two upper and two lower functions, and then um, use them as you need them. Right? Um, that's that's it. It's it's really straightforward, really easy to use those functions. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Okay. So that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and. If you thought that the video sucked, well, then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.